had spent, as I said, a year off and on with a platoon of 30 men in a very remote, remote outpost in Afghanistan. The outpost was called Restrepo. This is the name of the movie. They had no running water up there. They couldn't bathe for a month at a time. They had no phone, no internet, no connection to the outside world, no hot food. Um, it was, they basically lived in a world of sandbags and, and bought crates of ammunition, two or three firefights a day for a year. No women, nothing. It was, they were on Mars, except with a lot of combat. And they came back to their base in, in Vicenza, Italy. And after a few weeks or a couple months, they, most of them, realized that they missed Restrepo. They missed being on that hilltop. They missed the worst experience of their lives. What is it about combat that young men actually miss? Why is that more compelling than the society that soldiers come home to? I don't mean just in this war, I mean going back to the Iliad. Um, I think one of, one of the explanations is that combat, combat potentiates both of these great human reactions to crisis. It, um, it, it triggers organized violence and it triggers cooperation and brotherhood and, in a word, it, it, love. One of the really extraordinary human accomplishments, I think, is this idea that individuals will risk or sacrifice their lives for other people that they're not even related to. I don't mean their kid, I don't mean their spouse, I mean some guy who joined the platoon three months ago. There's no other animal species that does that in that way. There are also people from this society who have nothing to do with Afghanistan who have gone over there, civilians, who have gone over there as doctors, as architects, as engineers, to help build roads, to help cure people, bring medicine, to educate children. Um, and tragically, those pe many of those people have been killed doing it. That is altruism. That is human altruism. Side by side with human violence. 